Greetings Lucasfilm execs, Adam Film execs, and last but not least, Olivia. My name's Tino Dolina. I'm a sailor in the U.S. Navy as well as CEO of Perception Studios. Before I get to my pitch today, I'd like to tell you a bit about myself, so that way you have a better understanding of why I'm extremely qualified as a candidate and an excellent choice for the Star Wars fan film Operation Olivia. So a little bit about me. I'm a multi-ethnic mutt of Asian, Hispanic, and German descent, a military brat hailing from Oklahoma City. In Oklahoma City, I attended high school at Classen School Advanced Studies, which is like a college prep high school where you have to pick a major. I chose drama, and I studied every aspect of theater there was. I attended two different film schools where I trained under professionals in the industry. My time spent in film school, I learned all the intricacies of filmmaking. Everything you could think of, including my favorite, paperwork. In 2006, I filed an LLC for my company, Perception Studios, a modest indie film house which specializes in all forms of media, including documentaries, music videos, and countless shorts, some of which are actually on YouTube and have been viewed thousands of times. Our crew has ranged anywhere from 4 up to 60. In 2008, I put the company on a hiatus in order to serve my country in the United States Navy. I've just recently returned from deployment, just in time for my resignation this coming January. Okay, let's get to the good stuff. My first pitch is actually called Hudson to Hood. Think of it as Get Rich or Die Trying meets Star Wars. What I want to tell is the story of how Jabba the Hutt became the gangster that we know and love today. Jabba's father, Zorba, the rich and powerful crime boss, kicks his son out on the street to learn to fend for himself. Jabba roams the streets of Nahata, selling spice, avoiding authorities, hitting up parties, and rolling around in pimped out speeders. Then, during one particular party across the other end of the city, he meets a girl, Alsha. The two fall madly in love with each other, but there's always tension. Things are trying for them because she's off to do better things. She's studying in the Republic Diplomatic Corps. Jabba continues his life of crime in the streets, but Alsha knows he's worth so much more. She appreciates the security that his life offers her, but she can't continue to associate with a criminal. So she gives him an ultimatum, a life of crime or a life with her. Jabba knows that his father is on the verge of accepting him back, but he has to deny her. This breaks both their hearts. And from that day forward, he never sees her again. And he vows never to let anyone ever affect him that deeply. Jabba then becomes the cold gangster that the galaxy now knows. <laughs> Well, there you go. There's my pitch, Huts in the Hood. I've got two more pitches coming. I'm gonna save the best for last. They get better, trust me. So until then, thanks for watching and I look forward to hearing the results. May the force be with you.